Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome back to Space Wreck, where we're back again with Captain Betty Cupboard, and also her two new friends, which is all very good, and thanks to you lovely people out there, we might be able to go and help out one of our new friends right now. So next to us, just there, in the very lovely, very fetching orange spacesuit, it has to be said, is Santa, and that really is their real name. I didn't make that up, we didn't pick that for comedic effect, that's their real given name in the game, and so far we have not had a single present from Santa, which which is a little bit of a shame, I'm going to be honest. So I'm hoping that if we're on our best behaviour, if we're good for goodness sake, we might get a present from Santa very, very soon if we help them out. So Santa would like to use a machine over here in the medical wing. I think it's that one there. Yeah, the automat. So they want to use that to perform an operation on themselves. And the machine is functioning, but it might not be functioning very well because something inside it is broken. The actuator stabiliser is currently a bit damaged in that thing. So the machine will work and Santa can do this operation upon them themselves, but I suspect possibly if we do it without repairing the machine properly, it's going to result in the death of Santa. And I, for one, do not want the death of Santa upon my conscience. That would be quite bad. So we are going to go and find the replacement part, which is an actuator stabilizer, some sort of MacGuffin technological device thingamajig. And we found out last time that it's over in the West Cargo Bay. And we came down here and looked around at the end of the previous part, and I couldn't find it. But of course, I hadn't noticed that on the kind of landing pad things here, there are kind of compass point marking things. So that is an N indicating that is the north landing pad cargo bay type thing, not the west one. And I didn't notice that. I didn't pick up on that at all. So thank you commenting people. Thank you for kind of highlighting that kind of little, little tiny sort of visual clue there. So the west landing pad is down here. So I think our actuator stabilizer thing is either in that room there or possibly over here somewhere. I'm not quite sure. It's probably going to be in here or maybe down the stairs possibly. So we have to get over here. The only thing is, if we take a little trip down here, I suspect when we get to near this door, that robot might see us and it might start fighting us. So I think we might have to go the long way round. I think we're going to have to come around here and this is all fine. This is all safe. We've cleared this out. That thing is very dead. It's very exploded and floaty. And I think we have to come round here. And I think we need to go down this little hatch type thing. And that'll take us out near the fuel room. So hang on. Are they still following us? Are they still with us? Okay, they're tagging along a little bit slowly. But there we go. So yeah, Ingrid is the other person coming with us. Right, so I think we need to go to here. And then I think we need to kind of go and stand around here and use that terminal. Then we have to put the code in, and we know what the code is. Hang on, it's loading. So yeah, 0451, the door is unlocked. Go through the door. Right, you two, can you get through as well? Wait for me. I can't follow you. Locks. Okay. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, do you know what? Oh, hmm, it's locked. We'll put the we'll put the pin in for you. Can we not just shout at them? It's 0451. Come this way, please. Right, there we go. There we go. They're all with us. And then I think if we go up these stairs. We should be in that room. Yes. Okay. Actuator. There it is. Actuator stabilizer. It's in there. Anything else useful? Right. The only thing is, how heavy is this going to be? It is three. Botherations. Okay. So we can't hold that right now. We've got just shy of two carry capacity left. Um, okay. So we need to put some stuff down into here so we can pick that thing up. Um, I think maybe we keep the wrench. I think we have to keep that because we might need that to fit the actuator stabilizer. What can we get rid of? Whiskey. Get rid of that bottle of whiskey for now. We know it's down there. We can pick it back up if we need to. Right, we'll grab that thing. I've not got enough space. Oh, we're 0.08 away from that. Oh, that's a bit of a nuisance, isn't it? Um, what can we get rid of? What can we get rid of? How about um, that electric cartridge casing? I don't see us using that. Okay. Is that okay? Can we now, can we pick up that thing? Yes, we can. On the very, very verge of maximum carry capacity, but we are there. Okie dokie. Right, that's good. And now we have to go and do that ridiculous kind of route all over again <laughs> with those two getting stuck in the door because we can't go and fight those robots just yet. So here we go. Let's go back over here through the wall terminal and make our way back up to the medical room where we'll try and fit this kind of magic MacGuffin device thingamajig. Right, here we go. We're at the auto med. So let's see how this works. Can we please fix this thing now? I'm not entirely sure how we can do this. There we go. Replace the actuator stabilizer. 
do we just do that or do we need to actually do some sort of skill check type thing? You manage to get the faulty stabilizer out and then after some effort, put in the new part. There, now the auto med should work as it is supposed to. Okay, that seems quite good. Okay, so switch off for now, then go and have a word with Santa. Hello, Santa. I don't think the auto med's going to kill you anymore. Um, I fixed it. I fixed the auto med. Really? Wow, fantastic. Can I then use it? Okay, I think so. Go ahead. I mean, yeah, it's 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 all for a good cause and everything. It's to stop her having periods in space for a prolonged amount of time. I can't remember how long it was, but you know, for a decent amount of time. But I'm hoping that it's not going to kill you. I'm hoping it's not going to kill you because that would be quite bad. Um, but we've repaired it. We've done everything we can to make sure that it's going to be okay. So do you know what? Go ahead. Let's give it a go, shall we? She approaches the machine, sits down and places her arm in the slot. After the program is selected, there are a couple of beeps, a mechanical whirring sound, and then dot dot dot, or well, that's not ominous at all, there's a short thumping sound. Santa audibly gasps, but manages to keep herself composed. The machine quickly and precisely slices her skin and intrudes a small trinket underneath, then immediately disinfects the location and sews a wound with some kind of medical glue. Okay, so it's, yeah, like a little sort of, uh, like an implant under your skin kind of thing. Are you okay? Did it work? Oh, <gasps> we've done it. She turns to you smiling. I think we've leveled up. I think we've leveled up. That was one of the big things we wanted to do this time around. Yes, I was really scared, but somehow managed to keep it together. I was very worried about the automed, but it was manageable. Okay, good to hear. Thanks for helping with all of this. I couldn't have done it without your help. Okay, so you have less to worry about now. I certainly hope so. Fingers crossed the implant still contains the necessary concentration, but if the pills still work, I think there's no reason why it wouldn't. But yes, hopefully I'll be able to relax a bit more. It's like a weight off my shoulders. Thank you again. No problem at all. Again, thanks for helping me. Okay, so what are you going to do now? Um, now this problem is solved, at least for now, I guess I'll get back to my teammates. Even if, even if sometimes I really get on my nerves, they are all I have after all. Okay, so good luck and take care. So she is now done. She goes away. She's going to go back to wherever she was before. And there we go. So we're down to one companion, but we have leveled up. Ooh, we get a spinny trophy thing. Okay, so congratulations. You have gained experience and knowledge and a shiny spinny trophy thing as well. Don't forget the shiny spinny trophy thing. Choose skill to improve. Choose one of the skills to improve. Okay, melee, range, sneak, speech, tinker or Psytech. Okay, we're going to still try and avoid fighting. I know we have done a tiny bit of fighting and we did take down a robot last time, which was quite good, but melee and range, no. Sneaking would be okay. That would be okay, but I don't see us doing that much sneaking around people. We can talk to people, although we could sneak around robots. The robots don't really like chatting. They don't respond to our lovely charismatic ways. They tend to just kind of try to shoot us in the head. Um, speech, we've got three in that. That should be okay. But tinkering and also Psytech. I'm very tempted to choose one of these two because they've been very, very useful so far. We haven't had much joy in these. We've not done very well on the tinkering and the Psyteching. But I think, yeah, that might be the way we go. So try and speak our way around things if we can. But sometimes there aren't any people. You know, if there's a locked door, you can't talk to them or make it open. So possibly we should pick one of these either tinker to kind of pick apart repair and modify things or sci-tech applied science and modern technology which one of these do we upgrade it's going to be one of these but which one i think we go for sci-tech let's go for that allows you to interact with increasingly complicated or protected computers even hack them and represents your familiarity with various technologies i think we go for that and maybe next time go for tinker and just give ourselves a slightly higher chance of being able to, you know, bodge our way through things. So we'll pick SciTech. Okay, so improve it from two to three. And there we go. We improve SciTech. Oh, so that's all you get. You get one point. Not that I'm being ungrateful, but yeah, I thought maybe you might get a uh, sort of, you know, main sort of point as well in terms of strength or whatever they are, intelligence, that kind of stuff. But no, it's just a skill point. But okay. We're a little bit better now at dealing with sciencey, techy stuff. That's all very good. Um, okay, what's on our to-do list? Remind me. Okay, so Guzzoline is fuel. We can try and get some fuel. Um, Casimir's card. Ah, yes. Okay, so find a security card to disable the cam bots in the fuel bunker. That's why Ingrid is with us. And Ingrid wants to find the security office. 
there should be an employee database Ingrid can access. Right, so I think now we go and look for that and it possibly might be on the top floor. It could be on the top floor. There is something in here that we've not looked at yet. There is something in here because, yeah, there was something moving around. There, look. There's something moving around. I think, hang on, if we try and time it, so we go through this door, so we're not sort of, you know, nearby when this thing is near us. If it is a great big kind of killy death robot, if it's over there, it might not see us, right? It's gone away. I think. Pokan knows through, hang on. There's something that, oh no, that's a door. Oh, we're allowed a door. Doors are fine. Okay, we have a door. Pink drink, black coal, cola, nominal tablets, access terminal. Okay, that's all fine. Right. Okay. That door is open. Uh, where is the thing? The thing is there. Oh, hang on. I'm going to, is it going to come toward us? It's, is it a person? Oh, it's a person. Oh, okay. Hang on. It's a person. Oh, hello. Hello, somebody. How are you? Oh, hello, you're new. Who are you? Where did you come from? Oh, I thought it was a robot. No, it's a person. Um, okay, so I'm looking for a fuel, which is true. I am looking for fuel. Um, you're in the right place, but I must disappoint you. All the easy fuel is long gone. What is left is probably tucked away behind tightly locked doors. And unfortunately for you, we've got a claim on it already. What do you mean? Did you get to it already? As far as I know, Vilnius and the guys are about to break through any moment now. Maybe you can trade for it then. I mean, they're not, because Vilnius asked me to pick the door, which is sort of blocking his way. Um, so it's still up for grabs. Hey, tread very carefully now, lad. And it looks like we, we're real good chums here, but trust me, if you cross any of us, you'll regret it. There are just so many of us against you alone here, so be smart. Okay, let's change the subject. Uh, what are you guys doing on the station? What's that thing on the landing pad? Okay, I didn't see what that was, but I'm going to ask what that is. That's one of our engine power conduits. It's as old as the world itself and should have been replaced eons ago, but we don't get the new stuff here, do we? I have to keep these things running with duct tape, woo, and hope. And he's actually put duct tape, <laughs> not duct tape, actually the word duct tape, which is quite good. I like that. You don't normally see duct tape because, of course, it's duct tape. But there we go. Wonderful. A bit of duct tape, a woo. Okay, so can I help somehow? Maybe if we help him repair that thingamajig... We'll get some XP and possibly some nice things as well. Can I help you somehow? Not unless you've got a B521 valve laying around. Oh, that was what the chappy who got killed fighting a robot while he was following us was looking after, wasn't he? I was looking for. He was looking for a B521 valve. Uh, but uh, seriously, if he sees something like that while looting, come by. Noted. Okay, and I'm not going to ask what they're doing on the station because I think we sort of already know. Okay, so end conversation. Oh, that thing. That's what he's talking about. That's their ship. Oh, so we found access to their ship. Okie dokie. Right. I think we've been in there, haven't we? We've done that bit. We've been in there. Um, right. Okay. So I don't think we found a B-51 chip, whatever it was. Uh, where would the security room be? Where would that be? Now we did. Hang on. Let's go upstairs. Come with me, Ingrid. We're going to go upstairs because we've got spacesuits on. We can go outside. It's fine. So we can pop out here. This still seems like a very odd design for a spaceship. So you kind of come out here, look. Can we come out here? Unlock that door. Okay, so walk around here, look. So there's an infirmary. I mean, it's a very lovely view. It just seems a bit precarious to me, but okay, though. Right, go and check this. Um, oh, again, take a key card. Don't think we need it, but we'll take it just in case. Um, oh, I can't get there. I think you can. Um, there's a door here so where does that take us i'm not entirely sure that is where we just were i think but we can't see the big spaceship because we're not on that level i think possibly um that is elevated ah hang on what's over here then skywalk back door container okay so that's some sort of hang on was that the was that the sort of uh, the administrator's office possibly uh, can we get in here can we have a little look in this room? So if we come in here, what have we got? We've got, ooh, fuel bunker security terminal key card. That sounds like quite a good thing. And and then some other use, some other things as well. <laughs> okay, but hang on, hang on. Isn't that what we're kind of after? Ingrid, I found a thing. Um, oh, okay. So she's not interested in the key card thing we just found. She wants the access to the actual terminal itself. The container contains a VR program. Can we take that? 
a compact black plastic box size of a small book as a picture of a woman with unrealistic body proportions, like a gigantic head, sitting on a rock, a title with a ser serif shrift moon bride, and a big red ugly sticker with 18 plus written on it. Okay, right, there you go. We'll take that anyway, because we can again use that for trade, possibly. Um, okay, so that's all that was in there then. So we'll head back out of here. I think, possibly, can we head... Uh, it's confusing all these things in the way. Can we move these bits? So there we go. So what's in here then? There's a door there. The door is locked to an electronic lock. You need the correct key card. Oh, botherations. And now we can try and tinker it. Do you know what? I think we've got plenty of things. Unlikely. And we failed. Even with a plus, we failed. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Leave. That's okay. We'll try and find a key card for that at some point. We'll try and find a pro... Hang on. The door just opened. It, it, it just opened. <laughs> Ingrid. Ingrid. The door just opened. You came near it, Ingrid, and the door opened. What happened there, Ingrid? <laughs> that was a bit strange. The door just popped. Unless there's somebody inside. There, look, look, Ingrid, go in now. Run, 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 run. Oh, it's a robot. It's a robot. Okay, right, no. Th this, th we don't want to do that. I think combat has ended. Switch combat. Okay, right. This is potentially quite bad. Can we run away? Can we run away incredibly quickly? We've got, I've got six action points. I can get to just there. I can leg it. But if Ingrid dies, then we lose a chance to do this kind of mission thing for her. And we don't get the XP and such like, which would be bad because we want more XP. We want to level up a lot. Um, I wonder, the only thing is we can't hide. There's nowhere for us to hide. What's all that? Gulshan's computer, fridge, wall, terminal. I mean, if I could run in and hack the terminal... That might work, but I don't think we're going to be able to. I am going to, uh, I think, we get the gun out, because I suspect we're going to have to do some fighting. Going to run, uh, I mean, if we run over here, I can still see the thing, I suspect. Oh, no, hang on, I've got one action point. I'm going to carry on running away. Okay, ah, hang on. The robot's been paralysed. Oh, you're doing a grand job at shooting at it. Well done. Right, so if we now take a steady shot at this, so we have a go... We've just done it. We just took it down. We've destroyed another robot, everybody. Ah, oh, we're brilliant at the fighting. Yay. Okay. So now we can come here and go into this room. <laughs> I suspect we're not supposed to be in here. But okay, right. There's a there's a floaty person. So hello, floaty remains. What's going on there? Uh, screwdriver, pipe, cutter. So we'll take a screwdriver. Again, nearly at full carry capacity. We can always put that down somewhere. Uh, fridge, got beef paste. Uh, yeah, there's a computer, a terminal, and another door. Okay, so what's the terminal? Is it controlling the bots? Okay, yes. Um, I mean, is it worth hacking it, just in case? It's likely, look. Unless we're a load of minuses. Oh my goodness, we, we just passed. Right. Okay, so log in. Welcome super user. Adjust friend or foe settings. Yes. Okay. So try and do that. And... We miserably failed. <laughs> you failed to find where the friend or foe detection is implemented in the code. Um, we could blow up the security bots. Um, bots have been destroyed. Okay. Oh, was that a bot? There's, there's remains. Was that a bot? That might have been a bot, possibly. Okay, hang on. Let's come around this corner here. Uh, oh, no, we can't get that. Hang on, put our gun away. That's in a different room. Um, okay, Gulshan. Who's Gulshan? And what's on their computer? Email manage cambots. Okay. Cambot disable all cambots. Uh is is this the hang on, is this the security room that you wanted? Hang on. Have a chat with you, Ingrid. I think we're here. No? Okay. <laughs> I mean we can switch off all of the cambots in the entire station. Manage cambots. Uh, disable all cambots. Uh oh. Error. Functions available only from Percons Limited. Oh, okay. You have to go to Tobago on Earth to do that. Okie doke. That's a bit of a nuisance. Dan Gray firmware. Are you sure you want to install older CamBot firmware? The update will change the CamBot threat assessment algorithm. Ooh. I don't know. Uh, yes, let's do it. There we go. Ah, Ingrid promised you feel if you could find a way to disable all the CamBots. Oh, so we've done it a different way. This game is very clever. This game is wonderful. So we've just done that. We've downgraded all the cam bots without having to find the security room. 
we've just done it a different way. Uh, email, anything interesting in here? Uh, there's probably some stuff. Hang on, let me have a quick look through. Uh, because sometimes there is some useful stuff in here, but there's a lot of lore. There's a lot of sort of lore and story going on and such like. Ooh, a station-wide emergency. Okay. Uh, yeah, go for get emergency evacuation happening. Oh dear, okay, right. So something bad happened around here. Question mark, give me a holler when you can. So that's somebody saying, hello, are you okay? What's happening? They just told me that they were ordered to remotely disable the relay's communication array and wipe the data. Buffers, logs, even reset the firmware, everything. Oh, okay. So the whole station was kind of deactivated remotely presumably from Tobago on Earth, which is where you have to shut everything down from. Okie dokie. Right, so can we get through this door? Can we get through here? Uh, oh, perception. Examine. We don't normally see that. Let's try and examine the lock. So it's likely, and we've got a plus and a minus, it succeeded. The sign on the door says robotics. Below is the name Kunik Ilchuk. Okay, but does that help? Pick the lock. He had something small and conductive, a hairpin. Oh, we're out of hairpins. Oh, okay. Well, that's ended that trip then. But hang on a minute. We should go out onto the roof here. Go onto the roof. We've got a bit more space. Uh, have a chat with Ingrid. Ingrid, we did the thing. We did the thing. You still want to? <laughs> you still want to go into the employee database? Okay, we'll we'll go and find that as well, Ingrid. That's okay. Um, can we get out? Can we walk here? Uh, no. We can't get to just there. That's a bit of a bother, isn't it? I wanted to go over here and see what that room was all about. But okay, never mind. Uh, we can get there another way, I think. Let's maybe head to that room. So we have to go through here, go down the elevator, and then we can, I think, walk around this way. So I think it's all the... There we go. I want to go into there and use that elevator and then go up into the superintendent's office. So that's where we need to head. But okay, right, take a while to get there. So we shall make our merry way over there. Ah, bother. That is also locked. I thought we had the key card for that, but clearly we do not. Okay, examine that then. So what can we glean from this? We have succeeded. Uh, the elevator does not seem to be meant for the general public. You feel pretty confident there's only one key card for it, and it's with the owner. Judging by the sign, Superintendent K. Neo. Okie dokies. We can't pick the lot because we haven't got a hairpin. Could we, could we manufacture ourselves a hairpin using that workstation there? That was a thing that we saw last time. We didn't really look at, I don't think, but it could be, it could be useful. So hang on, how does it work? So construction, make a hairpin. Okay, what do we need? Wire, one out of naught wire. Okay, so if we put, uh, hang on, add to do with required components. I mean, yeah, put that in, put that in. Uh, go back, make a hairpin. You're missing more than one component. Indeed we are. Um, okay, so leave for now. Okay, so if we find some wire, is there any... Ah, ha ha ha, here we go. We shall grab some wire. Thank you very much. Any more wire? Uh, no. Okay, so go back over here. Let's make construction. So a hairpin, make a hairpin. You start working with the components, put everything correctly together. Here we go. Please don't mess up the big useful machine. Yay, there we go. We did some tinkering. Okay, we've made a hairpin. Right, so go back and then leave. So with that one hairpin, are we able to pick this lock? Or is it going to be incredibly, incredibly, insanely, impossibly difficult? Let's go and have a quick check, shall we? So pop into there, have a little look. Um, okay, tinker. It's unlikely. Bother. That would have been good to look at before. And it failed. We didn't get anything on the dice. Okay, never mind. Hairpin lost. Bother. Oh, okay, hang on. Yep, yeah, sorry. Yeah, leave. Okay, that, that didn't work at all well. That didn't work at all well. Uh, Okie dokie. I mean, where should we go now? We haven't been up in that elevator. Where does that take us? Where? Oh, hang on. No, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> Robots. Robots are right there. We don't want to go past the robots because they will kill us to death. Let's not go there. One thing we didn't look at, actually, I think we kind of came down these toward the end of the previous part. We looked in here in this kind of bunk room type thing. There is a hairpin, though. We'll definitely take that. Thank you. Um, are there any more? No, no, no. Any on this side? Uh, there's quite a lot of nails. And quite a lot of screen slates with various exciting things on them. Uh, we'll have that hairpin as well. 
and nothing in there. Okay, yeah, we didn't look in here, look. What's in this room? Is there anything worth looking at in here? Can we pop that door open? Oh, that's locked as well. Good grief. Okay, right, so there might be something interesting in there, but I'm not quite sure how we get in. Is it on... Oh, hang on. Remains. Is that person carrying some sort of Q-Bar employee card? Does that help? Can we get through using that? No. Okay, bother. Uh, right, okay, never mind. Let's leave this place and can't do too much with that room right now. Okay, thinking about it, if the robots have all been deactivated, which we did just do, we just downgraded their firmware, which I think meant that they're all kind of switched off now, does that not mean that we can go down and have a little look around the fuel room? Can we not go and do that? Will Ingrid get a bit grumpy about that? I'm not entirely sure. Is that robot... Is that robot deactivated? It looks active to me, but we did get the kind of reward thing for for deactivating all the all the robots. We got some XP for it, I think, didn't we? Hang on, where are we? We are... Yeah, we're not too far off level three. We're not too far away from that. So I think maybe it might be worth having a little look just to see if we can get in there. Um, I mean, yeah, all the... Hang on, that robot... That robot was active, wasn't it? That robot was active. It was moving around quite a lot. It is still active. Oh, okay. Maybe we haven't blown up all the robots. Uh, okay, we do need to find the security room then, possibly. Maybe just meant deactivate the robots on the top level? I'm not entirely sure. Come this way. Let's go over here. Look, we'll pop down this kind of hatch again, because this takes us down here. So if we go here to the fuel bunker... Um, oh, bother. We can't open the door. Oh, is that... Is, hang on, is that the door for it? I forget. Is that the control panel for it? That is the security bot thing. I think we tried that before, didn't we? It didn't work. Ah, okay. So we haven't got the key for that either. Okay. We need to find a way into some sort of security room type thing. The only thing is, I'm not quite sure where that is. I don't know where that is. We can't go up there. Oh, no, we can go up there. But how did we get there before? Oh, hang on. Oh, right, okay. This is going to get complicated. We need these two robots out of the way, really. If those two were gone, if they were sort of out of the way, we could walk around here with ease. But to go to here, from where we are, we've got to go down... We've got to go down this hatch, and then through the secret bit, and then up here, and then along here, and then round to that elevator. Then that's what we have to do. Okay, let's go and do that then. And yeah, the companions do get a bit stuck around this door. They get stuck around the 0451 door. They kind of don't come through it properly. So never mind. Right, here we go. Back this way we go. Yep, indeed. I know what the number is. 0451. Press it, press. End interaction. Pootle through here. Right, you. Come through as well. Oh, they made it through. First time. Hooray. <laughs> okay, that's quite good. That doesn't normally happen. Uh, right, so if we head up here and then... If we then come this way, look, spacesuits are on out into the vacuum of space, come this way, and then head over here. I don't think the robots care about us, because it can't quite see us. The line of sight isn't quite there. Okay, what's in this elevator? Where does that take us? That takes us to... Um, oh, VR, oh, the VR room. Okay, so if we come out... Ah, if we come out of here... We can go over there and use the Skywalk back door card on that door there and get into that room that way. Okay, that's very good. That's empty. That's got whiskey in it, tables and whatever else. Nothing exciting. Okay, the VR control terminal. What does that do exactly? Apart from control the VR, but what does that do for us? Launch a VR program. Uh, FAQ. The only VR program we have is somewhat dubious in its nature, so I'm not going to go for that. FAQ. What is the VR suite? It stands for virtual reality. I got that. Um, okay, so it's a state-of-the-art room-scale VR system. The best form of entertainment in the whole belt. Okay, can I get hurt? No. <laughs> okay, how does it work? There are two major components of the VR equipment, the VR headset and the projector. The headset provides the best audio-visual feedback and a being right there simulation. The crucial part of the system is the projector, the very mosaic of... A mosaic of very precise lasers that emit finely tuned projection rays onto your body that trigger various sensations on demand. Oh, okay. So you can feel temperature, touch, grip, and everything else. Uh, note. <laughs> you, may, 
You must be naked to use this system. I suppose, yes, if it's projecting stuff onto your skin, then yeah. I, I, we're not going to use that unless we really have to. Can we use the bathroom unit? No. Uh, right, so I think really the big thing about getting here is, and use that on that door, come out this way. So, ooh, hang on. Is that, what's that? What's just here? Can we go in here and have a look around? This is... Oh, botherations. It's locked. No, it wasn't locked. Oh, come in. There we go. <laughs> Hurry up and get on with stuff. Uh, oh, computer manual. We like those. We'll take one of those. They come in useful. Uh, overall soldering iron. Outdated spacesuit. Junk. That looks like it just leads to like a little sort of shower block type thing. Okay, so come back this way. So is this taking us to... What's this exactly? That's another locked door. Botherations. There are things behind that. Oh, it's whatever's in the middle here. It's going to be, that's going to be the security room, isn't it? That's got to be the security room. Okay, if we head back out here then. So go here. I think those ladders there, whereabouts are they? Those ladders there would take us down to where those two bots are. So we definitely don't ever want to use those because if we do, we are going to get quite horribly shot to death. But if we go in here, look, here we go. We're in the administrator's room. Okay, oh for goodness sake. <laughs> Come in, follow us more closely, please. Here we go, the superintendent's computer. We'll have a hairpin, thank you very much. Wonderful. Um, uniform tracksuit, fuel bunker key card. Boom. That is what we want. That's what, oh, and also that Nomen stuff. There's that Nomen stuff. Uh, we'll take some of that in case somebody else needs some. Uh, anything else? Space potato stew, pry bar. Uh, oh, Joe, we'll take meds. Meds don't weigh anything. We'll take that. Could use those for trading or whatever. Um, and then, I think the only thing left is that computer. So, what do we have on this computer? I imagine there's going to be a lot of emails and things. Um, oh, crikey's. Okay, new CAMBOTS. We're sending you 12 additional CAMBOTS on the next Sutnis 2 trip. Okay, make sure you position them in all strategic positions for the reasons we discussed in the HOX meeting. Let me know when Gulshan has hooked them all up to the network. Okay, that's a bit strange. New CAMBOTS. Um, as requested, I'm notifying you that all the new CAMBOTS are set up. Are they safe? I noticed that new CAMBOTS have weapons installed with live ammunition. Okay. Um, and then another message about CAMBOS. Thank you for your concern, but I can assure you that these machines are safe. These are specifically set up for monitoring only with custom firmware installed. AI doesn't even know there are weapons. Basically, it's just a walking camera. Okay, and then emergency broadcast, get off the ship. Right. So that didn't help a lot. Um, although we do have... Yeah, so Kai Ky Nero. K Nero. Uh, where's their... There should be a key card in here. I would have thought there'd be a key card, but I don't think there is one. Um, oh, hang on. I just, okay. This is, hang on, what is that? Is that the loo? That's the bathroom unit. Oh, relieve yourself. Open the panel on the side. I'm going to open the panel. You undo the panel and gain access to the toilet's container. Check what's inside. What? Suspicious sealed container. Okay. And an empty fecal container. What is going on with these? This is a bit strange. Okay, so he's got some slightly dodgy stuff hidden away in his toilet. Okay, that's a little bit weird, but right you are. Um, so what do we do now then? We could, now we've got the fuel thing, go and have a look at the fuel room. Maybe that's what we could do. I can't find the security room. I can't find that anywhere. So I suspect it's going to be... It's going to be here, isn't it? It's going to be in this middle bit. We just can't get to it, which is a bit of a shame. Um, unless it's worth... How many hairpins have we now got? How many hairpins have we picked up? We've got... Oh, hang on. Next. Hairpin, three hairpins. Is it worth just a speculative go at trying to get through some of the doors? Yeah, you've made it through the door. Well done, Ingrid. Is it worth just one little try? Go through here, look. Come on, Ingrid. Oh, there we go. Well done. Okay, so go to that door. It is locked. Try and pick it then. 50-50. Here we go. Come on. It's going to be glorious. Success. It worked. Okay. 
We've done the stuff, technical MacGuffins, and in we go. Okay. There are floaty things. Ah, that's a floaty dead person. Okay. Hello, floaty dead person. How are you? Uh, not very well? Okay, no. Right, just got basic stuff on you. Come through here. Wall terminal. What's in there? Look. Just pipes and things. Okay, wall terminal. What's this about then? Um, ah, okay. So, security status inactive. So, maybe it's... Maybe we it's switched off all the cam bots up here, maybe. Maybe they all got switched off in this area. Ooh. What's that thing? There's a thing. Oh, that's the other side of that door. That's the other side of the door. Okay. There's something just there. There's a light just there. Is there a room? Hang on. There's a there's a corridor there. Look. There's a, there's a secret corridor. How do you get into that secret corridor? <gasps> there's a little secret room thingamajigla with a terminal. I've just found a secret thing. I don't know how you get in there, but there is a secret thing. Maybe it's that way and I missed it. Um, okay, remains of a destroyed robot. I mean, examine it. Won't do any harm to have a look at it. Is it, is it good? Hey, we succeeded. Wonderful. Um, we could try to dismantle the innards and pull them out. 50, 50. If it works, it works. If not, not the end of the world. Failure. A big fat zero. Well done, us. <laughs> okay, we damaged a wrench. Oh, okay. Never mind, never mind. Less sort of, uh, less carry weight, I suppose. Okay, so now... Oh, this is a bit of a bother though, isn't it? So that door is locked. But I think there's something down there. There is something secret there. Uh, what if we come this way? What if we come down here? There is a door here as well. That door is also locked. There is a definite key card requirement up here, which is making life difficult because we haven't got the key card. Um... Okay, we could, if we wanted to, make our way back here and try and go that way. There's something that There's something secret there. There is a secret corridor or something there, so I'd love to find out how to get into that bit. Is it worth giving it just one more go? Just trying to crack open one of these doors. We're okay with that one. We were quite lucky with whichever one it was, but maybe we can be lucky again with this one here or maybe even that one there. There are two. I'm thinking that's the same room. Just two doors into the same room. So I think we can just pick either one. Do you know what? How many how many hairpins have we got? We've got two left. Let's give it a go, shall we? Let's just chance our arm a little bit. Pick the lock with a hairpin. 50-50. Fingers crossed, everybody. And minus one failure. Okay. Never mind. So hairpin lost. Okay. Do you know what? Let's try it with that one. Let's come round this side. And we'll try and pick that door. Just because that one didn't work. So maybe this one will work. Just I, Obviously the logic is complete nonsense. But let's give it a go. So again, pick the lock. Come on game, 50. Give us a plus on one of these dies. No! <laughs> I'd, love, I'd love to sort of go back. I'm going to have to go back through all of these videos. And look at every single dice roll we've made. And figure out how many times we've rolled blanks and minuses and pluses. Because it feels like we hardly ever roll a plus. Or if we do, it's always sort of plus, plus, plus. We get three pluses in a row. And you go, oh, great, that worked. But then on that situation, it was like, now nah, you've failed. Okay. So now, oh, hang on. Yep, sorry. Uh, we haven't got any hairpins. And the doors are still locked. Okay, right. That didn't go entirely according to plan then. Right, okay. Let's bail out of here then. Um, yes, yeah, so we've got a key card for there. I don't think we can do much else around here. There is nothing much else around here that we can do. Okay, that's a bit of a bother. So, what we could do, though, is we could now uh, definitely not go down those stairs because that would result in our almost certain death. Uh, possibly, we could go down in the elevator and then we could go... Is this the right way to go? Yeah, this is the slightly long way around. But go down in the elevator and then we could potentially uh, go through here around do we need to go that way uh we need to get down into the fuel bit again where was that yeah okay right so we need to go through this convoluted route across there down those steps um and down those stairs and then in and around here to get through to the access to the fuel bunker thing 
It's going to take a while for us to get there, though, because it's a bit of a walk because of those pesky robot things. But, uh, OK, we will get there. We'll get there. It's going to take a while. So here we go. Down we go. And yet through that door thing and over there. OK, we're back down at the door to the fuel bunker, which we can now open because we have got a key card that will open that door. The only thing is... I am fairly sure that I've seen some robots going around inside that room and they did not look like the little robots that we've encountered so far. They looked a lot bigger. They looked way bigger and way scarier. I think there are some big tough robots in there. So if we could deactivate them, that would be good. Now, did we pick up some sort of special access thing for this? Can we disable the security bots there? Um, yes. Okay because we've got some sort of admin permissions. There we're connecting, send new command, waiting for confirmation. Okay, bots on standby, have a nice day. So here we go. Is she now gonna, no, there, look. That bot is definitely not on standby. That gigantic thing there is not on standby. Lies game, lies I tell you. Okay, so there is a vent there. There is a vent that will get us into that room. The only thing is, we do not want to get into a tangle with one of the giant robots because they are definitely going to kill us to death. But if we do get in there, maybe there's another security console or something. Yeah, look, that is moving around. The only thing is, is that going to target us? That's what I'm not quite sure. It does say there, you know, bots on standby. Have a nice day. But maybe that doesn't apply to the bots in that room. Uh, what else can we do? I don't think we want to hack it. Yeah, look. Security status disabled. I'm not entirely sure what we do here. Do we pop that door open and have a little look? And then if it all goes wrong, run away. Bravely, bravely run away. Maybe that's what we do. Okay, so there's a robot there. Big giant robot going past. So we can open that door. Let's bravely step in. Okay, we've gone in. The robots have seen us. <laughs> I didn't like that. I did not like that at all. That was honestly terrifying. I thought, okay, we're going to wait. We're going to wait. The robot says, hold, citizen, stand back or whatever. But they did not. But it's all good. Ah, <sighs> okay. So what's in that room? Where does that vent take you? Because it clearly must take you into there somewhere. What's in there? Um, okay, let's have a little look around in here then. It's got remains of a person there. Um, we'll take a screwdriver. That's okay. We'll take that. Um, there are a lot of... There's a lot of fuel stuff. Pump controls. Okay, heavy hatch. Ooh, access hatch. Okay, I'm intrigued. What's down there? And also pump controls. What do, hang, go to this person first. Okay, so, sorry, hello, floaty dead person. Um, horse stopper. Special pneumatic rocket for horse stopper anti-riot gun. It looks a bit like a rugby ball and is powered by compressed gas. Oh, okay, like a sort of a rubber bullet type thing. Riot control weapon with extremely high stopping power. Oh, okay. I mean, we don't need that. We don't need that. But okay, there's a thing there if we need it. Oh, hang on. We've been detected. Well, what have we been detected by? That, what? That robot? Well, why is that robot picking on us? <laughs> All the other ones are quite merrily just going around their business. And that one's like, oh, no, you're a problem. Hang on, what? I'm really confused. I thought we got away with all that, but no, it seems not. Um, right, can we run up the stairs? Can we run down that? I'm going to run down that hatch. I'm going to go down the hatch, but bye now. <laughs> I don't know what that was, but that was a bit scary. Um, okay, so that's the hatch to go. Hang on, there, the stairs. There's another hatch. And whereabouts are we now? We are very much in the bowels of the ship, look. We're really, really far down. Okay, what's down that hatch then? What's right down at the bottom? Oh, hang on a minute, hang on. Yeah, I'm really confused. Look, they're all happy with us. They're all happy with us. Maybe it's because we went near the pump controls. Is it because we went near the pump controls? Do they not like that? Yeah, the pump system is fully functional. Okay, return. Okay, but it doesn't do anything. How do we go and get a, a fuel? Oh, hang on. Fuel cells. Five by five mass. Uh, okay. Can we pick up one of these? Can we just chuck a load of stuff over into that that we never really need? Um, stealth shock bomb. Uh, okay, that will take out robots. Uh, detonates a tiny amount of explosive material that spreads out a bunch of highly charged electric wires. Oh, okay. Do you know what? We don't need that. So that saves a little bit of weight. Oh, dear. 
Okay, we're going to have to put a lot of stuff into there. Uh, what else can we get rid of? I'm in a scalpel. That, I'm in the condition that's terrible. So get rid of that. We are carrying four screwdrivers. So we can put those away. How heavy is a fuel cell? It is times two. No, hang on. Have 5.5. There's two of them. Okay. So we're going to need, hang on, maths with penge. We're going to need our carry weight to be 16.5. So we need to lose another couple of things to pick up a fuel cell. Um, okay. What else can we drop? There's probably a load of junk that we're carrying around. That doesn't weigh anything. Um, a ratchet only weighs 0 0.2. It's the things like the screwdrivers, isn't it? The circuit breaker doesn't weigh anything. Potato stew. Okay, maybe. Hang on. Get rid of the food paste. I'd rather keep the space potato stew than the space potato... No, space food paste. Um, and then... I do quite like our captain uniform. Shock baton, yes. Nails. Although that's not that much in terms of weight, is it? We need to get rid of something that weighs one. Just something that weighs an entire one thing. Um, okay, what can we get rid of? What do we not mind losing? And we can always come back and pick it up if it's that important. So let's just find something to put into this thing here so we can grab a fuel cell. I think we might have to put our space potato stew in there, which is a little bit of a shame because it would have been nice to have the space potato stew. But there we go. Maybe... Maybe just for the sake of sort of you know, role playing it, we'll take the space food paste and we'll put the potato stew into there and then we'll go into the inventory and we'll just eat the space potato, no space paste. I keep calling it space potato paste. Maybe it is space potato paste. We'll take the space food paste and we will use it. We'll just eat it because we haven't eaten in a while. And there we go. That drops our carry weight down a little bit. And then we can go to that thing. And then we can grab a fuel cell. We're almost full in terms of our carry capacity. Oh, hang on. Hang on. It's gone up to 27. When did we... And Hang on a minute, what? Why can we now carry 27 things? Um, oh, is it because we ate the space potato paste? Does it give us a little sort of... Ah, there we go, look. It allows us to carry five more things because we ate space food paste. Oh, that's quite handy. Okay, hang on a second then, hang on. We can pick up a few more things from here. We'll have the stew back and we'll have a couple of screwdrivers back. That will be quite good. And there is still another fuel cell in there. Um, okay, so does that mean we just take that back to our ship and just kind of pour it in? Is it some sort of, you know, like space jerry can type thing? Is that what we need to do? I'm not entirely sure. Um, Okay, so where does that go? So where do the stairs up lead? Can we go up the upstairs, please? So where does this take us? That takes us... Oh, into this teeny tiny room here. Okay, that Chappie was trying to get access to. Okay, but we're not going to let him know that we've got that. So where does... <gasps> does that ladder go up into the security room, maybe? Does that ladder go up into... Oh, we're in here. Okay, so is that... Use keycard on that door... No, 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 that's... I don't want to talk to you. Use keycard on the door. Hang on a second. Are we in... <gasps> this is the security room, is it? Is this the security... There is a robot there, but again, I think all the robots are sort of powered down. Unless we go and aggravate them. Uh, okay. Remains on you. Dispatch access keycard. I don't know what that does. Um, dispatch access keycard. And then on you, you also have... Uh, I don't know why you're... Why are you saying those things? I don't know what that means. Dispatch terminals. There's loads of dispatch terminals. There's a wall terminal. There's some things with regular items in. That's got space potato stew. Very nice. Uh, what if we come over here, look? If we come over here... Yeah, what's that person got there, then? Why can't we... Hang on. Which one are we? Where are we? We're you. So why can't we go and check your remains? Zero, three, FF, three. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what that means. It's like a hex reference or something, but I don't know. Um, okay, dispatch terminal. What does that do then? There is nothing specific you can do here. Ah, okay. But that one possibly is. Okay, we can do something with this. So it's used to coordinate incoming and outgoing spaceships. Now it's effectively useless as there's no traffic. Okay, but check recording. SciTech, here we go. We upgraded this for this very purpose. Hooray! <laughs> we did a thing. Um, you find the database of transmissions between traffic control here and incoming outbound ships. 
It's pretty mundane stuff until the day to the catastrophe. At one point, multiple station ships are requesting departure, but nobody answers them. Finally, they start taking off without permission, and chaos ensues. At the same time, a single incoming ship, Sutnis, is approaching. That's the one that had all the bots on it. Okay, so read the transmission script. Oh, crikey, right, okay, it's quite a big script. Okie doke, right, so let me just sort of read that and just you know, quickly praise it after I've read it all. Okay, so the Sutnis crashed into the station. That's the long and the short of it. It crashed into the station. So they came in and said, hey, it's a bit quiet over there. Do you need some help? And then said, okay, yep, hang on, we're initiating the docking procedure, kind of like an emergency thing. And then you get Mayday, Mayday, we've lost control. I repeat, we have lost control, Krogers. Another much louder bang. And they've crashed into the ship. Okie doke. Right. Well, that's a little bit odd as well. Okay, end of transcript. So something weird did go on around here. Something very odd happened. Um, okay, okay, right. I think that's all we can do up here, is it? Is there anything we can do over in this part of the world? Um, it'd be good if that thing could kind of fade out of the way, but never mind. I don't think there's anything else we can do in here. I don't think so. So really, hang on now that... Ah, hang on. We've got a key card. We've now got a key card to access all these doors. Oh, this is very good. Right, we can come through here. That door is still locked, but this one we can open. Is this going to be the fabled security room? Unlock. In we go. It's the customer service terminal. Okay, in you, in you come. Come on, Ingrid, in you come. Um, okay, that takes us to the promenade. Uh, right, so the customer service room. Oh, no, not Ingrid. I don't want to talk to Ingrid. No, it's all fine. I can't find the security room. Uh, yeah, we'll go and find the thing. Uh, I did want to sort of check out the, um, the remains. Dispatch access. Key card. You're not strong enough to carry that much. Oh, has our thing worn off? Oh, I suspect our thing has worn off. Okay, put all of those over. Um, okay, we're still carrying way too much stuff. We might have to put some stuff back. Okay, bottled water can go over. 24.25. Oh, botherations. We're carrying weight. Put all the screwdriver. Take one screwdriver back just in case. Right, so our food paste sort of buff wore off a bit, which is a bit of a nuisance. Okay, never mind. Uh, what are you carrying? Just a poor quality uniform. You. It's going to be some rubbishy overalls. Okay, customer service terminal. What's on this thing then? What can we find from this? Video calls. One recorded video call. So, okay, so somebody called Vitaly Jones. Okay, do we get a little kind of video thing now? Ah, no, right, okay. It's more like a sort of a transcript thing, but we can see a picture. Hey, you're right, there are some weird rumours coming from the station. Ah, and there's a person responding who I guess is on the station, or who was on the station. No, not all right. The Cambots just started shooting at people. I, th I think they're dead. Where are you? I'm still on the shuttle, but now they're saying we'll be turned around. What are you talking about? What's happening there? Around? We need help. Everyone is dead, Vitaly. A cambot in the waiting room suddenly started shooting. I hid under the table, but it murdered all the visitors before the security guard managed to shoot it. Then he ran into the hallway to investigate. Uh, and I think he's dead, Vitaly. There were gunshot sounds and nothing. I'm alone. Scared. I is this for real? That is crazy. Oh my. I'm not staying here. I'm leaving. I can hear the cambot steps all the time and I'm afraid they'll come into the room. I'm leaving. Cannot talk. Take care. Send help. Uh, wait, wait, there must be something wrong with the Cambot management system. Do you know where Gulshan is? She would definitely know what's wrong and how to fix it. If you're leaving, try to find Gulshan. Her office is upstairs, somewhere near your workplace, right? Gulshan, good idea. Yes, her office is just around the corner down the hallway. Pauses. Vitaly, the security guy went into the hallway and he didn't come back. Right, okay, okay, okay. Ah, the back door. You can get to Gulshan's office from the other side, from the roof, through the doctor's office, or that other VR suite. Oh, we've done that. Doctor's office or VR suite, got it. Are they locked? No. I still have a key to Gulshan's robotics, but not to the doors. This doesn't matter. Okay, we've got a key for that. Okay, Alamos, yep, 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 good. Uh, stay safe and try to find Gulshan. I'll talk to the pilot. We should, uh, should help to evacuate people, not turn away. I hope to talk to you soon. Okay, 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 I I'm going now, Vitelli. Cannot stay here, bye. Recording ends. Okay, so now we know what the situation is. The Cambots went bonkaloids. They all kind of rebelled and went all sort of angry and started shooting at people. Okie dokie. So now we've got a bit of a clearer picture as to what's happened. Right, okay. So now we've got a few questions. Like, yeah, that secret corridor thing there. What is the deal with that terminal? How do we get to that? That's a good question. Where is the security room? So we still do have a few more things, but I think 
we still do have, we've got some food. Do you know what we're going to do? I was going to wrap things up, but I think if we make our way back out of here, can we put that fuel that we've got into our ship? Because that's what we need to do. We need to refuel the ship. And also it's really heavy. It's really, really heavy. So it'd be good if we could get rid of it. Um, just a quick trip over there though, while we're here, because there is a terminal there. Do we need to go and look at that terminal? Come along. Yes, yes. <laughs> Traveling with a companion can be a bit tedious from time to time. Come on, companion. Oh no, hang on, this way. Come this way, please. Unlock the door. Come through. Wait here because you're not going to get through the door. <laughs> Open the door. Right, there we go. Come in, please. There we go. Uh, what's on that terminal? Is there anything handy on this? Oh, just disable the bots. But I think... Yeah, they're all done anyway. They're all kind of deactivated. Okay. Um, yeah, let's make our way back down to the bottom... Well, the sort of starting level, if you like. And we'll see if we can put that fuel into our ship. Or do we need to do something clever with it? I'm not entirely sure. So let's just take a nip down and see if we can figure out what to do with the fuel we've now got. Right, there's our little shuttle. There is the big spaceship. I imagine that's the one that crashed. That was the one that we just read about in the recordings that then crashed into the station. And I noticed when I was going to fly my mouse over it, there is an option there to enter the crash spacecraft. I didn't know we could go in there. That could be exciting. We might do that next time. However, we can now pop into our shuttle, I think. So yeah, if we go to if we go to here then, how do we do this? Okay, so can we refuel with this? Access the shuttlecraft. Okay, so go inside. How do we do this then? I want to refuel. Authorization in progress. Authorize controls refuel. Okay, so refuel, fuel cell removed, refueling, continue. Okay, we've refueled. We found fuel on the station to refuel the shuttle, return to main controls. Uh, we might look at radio comms next time, but come out of that for now, and I believe we've leveled up. Did we just level up? Yes, we did. There you go. Hang on. The accumulated stress leaves a mark on you, both positive and negative. Positive mark. Uh, you get a plus one, a bonus plus one to your hacking ability if you were snacking. Just consumed a food item. Uh, if you only have one round left in your clip, you shoot with extra accuracy. When your clip is half empty, you are not fat, but you don't actually have big bones. Plus 10 hit points. Or your body has become flexible and you can squeeze through increasingly narrow openings. Okay, so you can kind of um, creep through the vents and things. Oh my word, there's 12 million options. Oh, okay. Okay, hang on, hang on. There's so many options. I thought there was only those five, but no, there's loads. Uh, okay, what kind of fun little sort of perk trait type thing do we want to choose because there are so very many okay hang on a minute let me go and see what's going to be really useful oh there are many many different options here that deal with all sorts of different things there is one down here look where are we naked bard less armor better stealth and evasion right so what if you are completely naked so if you go around the place completely utterly starkers you get plus two to evasion and plus one to your sneak if you have a physical at one i mean that's quite good but it does mean you can't wear any armor and you can't put your spacesuit on and all that kind of stuff, which is a little bit of a nuisance. There are so many. There are many, many things, loads of different things. However, I think, where is it? I think that one would work well with our character. If we're role playing, I quite like that. You have read thousands of article headlines in social networks and now you have an opinion on any topic. So because we've read a load of stuff online on social media, we now think we know everything. So it does mean we get plus one to Cytec, Tinker, and Ranged, apparently, when we're in a conversation, which might be quite situational. We don't do that much in the way of conversation, but if we're role-playing this, that would make sense. And, you know, it might come in handy. We might have a chat with somebody, and they might say, hey, do a Cytec check of some kind, and we get plus one to it, which is quite handy. So I think we'll go for that. We shall become a sofa expert. Thank you. So choose that. But now, hang on, a new mark. Okay. Unfortunately, there are also negative effects of prolonged exposure to the stress. So a negative mark. So we have to pick scared gun nut, hungry and grumpy, or obsessive accounting. Oh dear. The stress has triggered an irrational fear of number 6 and 13. Whenever you have items of that count, you suffer minus one penalty to your focus. <laughs> okay. So if we have items that number either 6 or 13, if we had 6 nails or 13 nails, then we're going to have minus 1 focus. I think we can work around that. We can work around that. That should be fine. Hungry and grumpy is minus 1 charm if we're hungry. Don't want that. And scared gunner, 10% less HP. We haven't got much HP anyway. So maybe 
we go for that one there. We go for obsessive accounting and just become a little bit afeard of the numbers 6 and 13. Okay, that's a little bit silly, isn't it? That's interesting though, you don't level up the same each time. I was expecting to just pick another skill point there when we leveled up, but no, that time round we picked a perk and then a kind of a negative debuff type thing, which is quite intriguing. I like that, mix it up a little bit. Okay, so... We've got fuel on the ship, that is good. That's one big thing ticked off there. We've got fuel on the ship. So now, if we could find the B521 card chip thingamajig, that would be quite good. Raiders of the last fuel tank, we could then help the scavengers get in because now we can just probably open the door. So that'll be quite good. That'll get us some more XP, maybe push us toward level four possibly. That would be useful. But yeah, the big thing now is the fuel chip. We need to go and find a fuel chip. I imagine the fuel chip is going to be on the other spaceship, isn't it? It's not going to be on this station because that doesn't need a fuel chip type thing. It's going to be on their ship. So we might have to do a little bit of breaking and entering and sneaking around on their ship and nick their fuel chip and then kind of run back and fit it onto our ship and then fly away. That might be what we have to do. But, uh, but yeah, I think we'll wrap things up for now and then come back next time and yeah, try, I think, at least to do that one help them get into the fuel bunker thing. And then they'll like us a bit more and that could be quite good. They might give us some nice things as means of thanks or whatever. And then yeah, look for that thing and then just see where we go from there. We will just see where we go from there. Still haven't found the security room yet. Or if we have, we haven't looked at the right kind of terminal type thing. We haven't found this kind of employee database thing. So I think we have to try and find that as well. I'm not quite sure where that is, but uh, yeah, plenty to do next time when we come back. So we'll see what happens. We'll finish things up for now. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be most marvelous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Space Wreck. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. For as we all know with Cake, come spiritual enlightenment and also happiness. That smell is totally not coming from any dark elder gods. Nope, not even a little bit. Okay, so a little picture of us on the wall, just to remind everybody who's in charge around here. Oh, and this person here is saying, Penge, you're my friend. Tom, you're my friend too. Nobody likes a soggy bottom.